Hi, I'm Brent. Welcome to Evolve Core One. Today we're setting the foundation that's going to set the tone for how you move in day-to-day -day life and in sport. We're focusing on core, we're focusing on balance. This exercise program is going to bring some awareness to what you might need to improve upon. You guys ready to get started here? Ready. Oh, yes. Alright, so we're going to start off with a warm-up, of course. Drive your knee up to the chest, pull towards the chest. You're going to feel the hamstring stretch out, so we'll alternate sides here. Just back and forth. As you feel yourself loosen up, you can pull a little bit harder. Keep your posture nice and tall, okay? So as always, we have three mods. Mod one is the easiest. Mod three is the most difficult, okay? So you may mod up or mod down according to how you feel during the workout. But this is designed to keep you going, to keep your core focused, and work on your stability here. Let's switch it up a little bit. Go into just a partial lunge, right? So step back, and we're just gonna keep moving through this, back and forth. Nice tall posture. Check out tutorials, right? If you need further explanation on how to do these exercises properly, we want to focus on precision of form, okay? So go to tutorials and use those as you need. Keep going here, we're gonna go two more steps. Last step per side. Excellent, okay, next one is a little bit of balance. So you're gonna take the right leg off the ground, reach just about waist height and then come back off. Opposite side, reach your own waist height and come back off. Your standing leg should be partially bent the whole time. Okay, we got about two and a half minutes left of our warm-up. We're gonna go around and take a look at our mods here. We got Bar Tech. How you doing? Mod one, how you doing today? I'm good, how are you, man? Very good. You're here to improve your football, aren't you? That's right. Okay, this is gonna help you on that gridiron. Mod two, we have Courtney. How's it going? How are we feeling? Good, I'm good, I'm ready for this. Courtney teaches self-defense, I found <laughs> out. This is gonna help you with your self-defense and balance. If you're feeling at the top of your game, you're gonna go to the mod three position here. Okay, we have Candice here at mod three who's gonna be demonstrating that. All right, so we're gonna switch up the movement. Toes out, push out as you go down into a squat, and then pull back in, squeeze the blades together. So it's out and in, just like that. I want you to really focus on drawing those shoulder blades together. It's important to get those postural muscles active. We want circulation going through all your muscles here. Good, we're gonna go another five reps. Four, that's it. Three, two, and one, okay, so we're gonna get you running on the spot, heel kick, so heels come right up to the butt, right, you wanna feel a light stretch through the front of your thigh, and you're engaging the back of your leg here. You can keep the arms pumping as well to help set your cadence, so we'll keep going with that for about 15 more seconds. Excellent, so we're gradually bringing that heart rate up a little bit. A lot of these exercises that we're getting into are slower paced, but you're gonna have to focus on what you're doing. That's it, so let's keep that going, another five seconds here, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. I want you to kick right through, kick right through. Again, don't force it. You can kick a little lower to begin with. As you feel yourself loosen up, you can get a little higher. What I don't want you to do is round over. So keep your posture nice and tall, chest high, shoulders back, always. So in this first set, we're doing seven exercises with a cardio blowout at the end, and we'll repeat the whole thing again. Good, five more kicks. Four, three, two, and let's go backwards arm circle. So nice wide circles here. Get the shoulders warmed up. Good, another five, four, three, two, and let's repeat opposite direction, nice and big. Perfect. Good, last five. Four, three, two, and one, good. All right, so we're about to end this warm up. We're gonna start the first round of set A, starting with single leg deadlifts. You guys ready for this? So it's a single leg deadlift, YWT. So a little balance involved here. Stand on your left leg, partially bent, right? You wanna get right out into a 90 degree position if you're mod three. Y position with the arms, then W, then T. And then you're gonna shoot right back up and repeat. I want you to stay there till halfway, okay? Ready, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. So extend through the crown of your head. Feel yourself elongate. So the head elongates in one direction, the foot in the opposite direction here. So if we look at our mod three, again, a lot of balance requirement here. Look at the ankles, a little bit of shaking is normal. You'll feel yourself shaking, particularly on the first set, right? As your body gets used to it, you might find a little bit more stability on the second set. Very good, switch sides for me. So mod two, we have Courtney here, not quite all the way down to 90 degrees, but again, still focusing on straight posture, neutral neck, same arm movement. Very good, and same stability, that's it. Good, so if you're having problem with balance, focus on one spot on the ground. Find that little speck on the ground that you can focus on to maintain your balance. That's it, last three seconds. Let's go one more rep here. Find your balance, Bartek. Nice job. Okay, 
Next is the ballet squat. So we're gonna go 45 degrees with the toes. Arms are overhead, okay? Get onto your toes. Two seconds on the way down, all the way to 90 for mod three. Hold for a second, and then two seconds on the way up. Stay on your toes the whole time, okay? Starting in three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Nice and controlled. Good, Bartek, did you know it's a requirement now for the NFL to uh, at least do 10 hours of ballet in their training? Oh, that must be new. I didn't hear about that one. <laughs> <laughs> but in all truth, a lot of football players do incorporate it. Great for balance, great for stability, right? You're focusing on movement patterns with ballet. Very effective training, cross training for the sport. Good, keep it going. We have about 15 seconds left. So difference with mod two here, we got the arms straight out in T position. We're going a little bit deeper than mod one. In mod one, you have the hands on the hips. Good, almost there. We should get two more reps. Mod three, we're staying right above the head with those hands. Three seconds, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, hello planks come next. You're gonna go left forearm, right? Plant your forearm on the ground. Stack your feet. You wanna pack your shoulder. What I mean by that is you wanna make sure you set your chest high, shoulders back, and that shoulder is in a locked position directly above the elbow, okay? From there, you're gonna raise your hand in the air. You're gonna come all the way down towards the head or towards the ear, then all the way down to the hip. The whole time, your hips should stay stable and elevated. Okay, I'll let you know when to switch sides. Starting in three seconds, two, and here we go. Let's go over to bar tech first here. So mod one, main difference here is you have your bottom leg bent 90 degrees, top leg still straight, hips are still elevated, and we're not coming all the way to the head, we're coming right sort of straight as a T, perpendicular to the ground. But you feel that lower side, right? Yep. There we go. So exhale as you lift, inhale as you go down. We got one more rep and we'll switch sides. Yeah, so switch sides for me. So difference here with the mod two, we're staggering the feet. So again, nice straight line from shoulder, hip, and then right between the feet is where that line ends. Hips are nice and high, good. And we're getting a little fuller range of motion with the arm. Breathing, staying focused, keeping that core drawn tight. Excellent, and we finish up here with our mod three. Last rep, two and one. Okay, so next one, we're gonna stay on the ground. Lie on your left side for me. It's all about the uptown crunch. We're going uptown today. Uptown. So what you wanna do is you're gonna put your arm against the ground, have your fingers extended towards the ceiling, right hand behind the head. And what you're gonna do is bend your legs slightly. We're gonna hover off the ground. You wanna contract that lower side, bring your rib cage to your hip, okay? Your legs stay still, your upper body moves. It's not a huge range of motion, okay? So don't worry about the size and the motion. Focus on that contraction, all right? Let's start in three seconds, two and one. Good, so we're hovering with those legs and we're squeezing that lower side. There we go. Excellent, nice so one. exhale every time you feel that, right? Yeah. Perfect, good. So just because your hand is here, make sure you're not pulling on your head as well. We wanna make sure your head stays neutral, okay? This is more just to guide the movement. These exercises are all about precision of form today. All about precision. Let's switch sides, guys. We wanna make sure we're getting the exact form down, right? We're setting a foundation here. So let's do the movements correctly. Excellent, all right, mod one. Feeling the crunch, right? Perfect, so you can see that rib cage coming closer to the hip each time. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight and hovering, okay? Last two seconds and done, very good. All right, next one, the sneaky bear. We're gonna get into a bear position, which means your knees are off the ground, we're on all fours, okay? Go a little wider in shoulder width to start and what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your right arm, left foot off the ground and then switch sides, left arm, right foot. Two second hold each lift, okay? So keep it controlled, we wanna focus on hip stability, keep the hips very still. Let's start in three seconds, two and one. Here we go. The difference here with our mod one, so Bartek is dropping a knee one at a time here. Different with the uh, no shoes there. Yeah. Good, yeah, keep that core nice and tight. Very good, so again, don't get married to your mod here. You want, feel free to move around if you feel comfortable and you're at mod one, move up to mod two. Here there's more stability involved, okay? So we're just lifting the hands, not the legs. But again, we're watching for stable hips here. Stable hips. Good, it's self-defense. How do you fight off a bear? How do you stay away from a bear attack, seeing as we're doing a bear exercise here? You probably want to run. You probably want to run or stay indoors. <laughs> stay indoors might work. Go. Good, keep it going. So main difference here, we're lifting opposites, right? Again, a lot of stability required. Last rep here and done. Excellent, way to finish. Okay, the balancing press comes next. So I'll get you standing up. We're gonna stand on your left leg to start. So left leg slightly bent. Hands are up like you're gonna press overhead. And what's happening here is you're gonna press straight up overhead as your leg goes out to the side, to the right. 
bring it back down and press to the opposite side. So 45 degree in each direction, starting in three seconds. Two and one. So shoulders are back, chest is high. Very good, so we're swinging side to side. Nice. Knees bent, the one that you're standing on is gonna be bent always. That's gonna help your stability by engaging the glutes. So the difference with your mod two, we're touching down to the ground. We're not going all the way across. Let's switch sides. So we're basically going out to the right and then stopping center. Still getting that pressing action, still focusing on the balance. Mod one, we have Bartek here, standing still, one leg off the ground, focusing on just stabilizing as we're pressing. Very good, so exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. How heavy are those weights, Bartek? 100 pounds. 100 Easy. pounds, wow, that's impressive, that's impressive. We have three seconds left till we finish this one. Last two and one. All right, let's stand on both feet, partial bend at the knees, arms right overhead, okay? You're gonna go into the rotating sacks in here. So what happens is you're going to bend to the right first, come back up, exhale, and rotate the same direction, okay? Then we're gonna repeat the opposite direction. All right, let's start in three seconds here. Two and one. So reach as far upwards as you can, okay? Really extend over, feel that stretch before you come back up for the rotation. The main difference with mod two, of course, you're gonna go bent elbows, okay? So 90 degree elbow position. Excellent, good. And notice the hips stay pretty still all the way through the movement, right? That is your hinge point. Core stays tight, hips stay still. Good, and then mod one, we got Bartek with the hands by the waist, okay? Side to side, still keeping those shoulders back, focusing on posture. You wanna turn with your head as well, right? So the head follows the body's movement. This is good, one of my good, favorites. Good. One of your faves. It's a great stretch, right? Again, you're stretching and lengthening and all of a sudden you're contracting as you come back up. Great exercise. Good, last three seconds. Two and one. All right, guys, it's time to get into that blowout. We're gonna start off with a forward plank. So you're on your forearms. Let's go right arm above the left arm, okay? So here's your position. All I want you to do is hold that for now. I will tell you whether you're moving right or left and we'll move through this. Here we go. Three seconds, two and one, good. Okay, so this is controlled for everything. Controlled breathing and controlled body. As you move through, when I get you to move, I want you to try to keep your hip height at the same level and you're just basically rotating without dropping the hips. Imagine your midsection as a cylinder, right? You're gonna stay very secure and stable with that cylinder as you turn. All right, guys, in three seconds, I'm gonna get you to go onto your left forearm, okay? So you're gonna open up to the right in three, two, and one. So open right up to your right. Nice, nice, perfect. So mod two here, staggered foot position, hips remain high, head is neutral, excellent job. Good, good, good. All right, mod one, we have that bottom knee bent. Another three seconds, guys, and we're gonna go back to neutral, then right over to the opposite side. Two and one. So let's rotate. Imagine that cylinder stays level, doesn't drop. That's it, Bartek. Perfect. And you're probably asking yourself, how is this a blowout? Well, this is a blowout for stability, right? So we don't have our heart rates jacked up too high. It's different than other blowouts. Focus has to be there. We have to zone in on what's really important here foundationally, and it can get pretty tough to hold these positions for long periods of time. All right, another three seconds. How are you doing? A little bit of rocky there? A bit. If I push you side to side, you're gonna, oh, you're no, pretty good, no, you're pretty solid. No. All right, let's go back to neutral. Yeah, and then switch right away. Good, back to neutral again, and switch right away. So I want you to go back and forth to the end here. We got seven seconds left. Ooh. Roll like a cylinder, don't let's drop go, the hips down. We're almost Woo. there, three seconds, two, and one. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, a little break here, we got 45 seconds. Job, nice guys. job, that is round one. Bartek, don't leave me hanging. All right, so grab a little sip of water. So again, think about it. There's no weights here. There's no equipment required, right? There's no excuses. You can do this workout anywhere. And that's what we're doing. We're building that foundation right here, right now, without any equipment, just our own bodies. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, so we're gonna get into the second round. Now, second round of set A, you've gone through the first round, things become familiar. I want you to really focus in. Push yourself a little more if you can, move up a mod, okay? Try to do better in this round than you did in the first round, even if it's that much better, okay? Okay, single leg deadlift with YWT. Stand on your left leg, leg bent, go down into your deadlift, 90 degrees at mod three, YWT. Scoop right back up into that Y. Here we go, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Good, excellent. So you hear about core all the time, right? What is core? People think of the six pap. It's not all about the abs, right? The core is everything. It's so many muscles incorporated in the core. There's inner core, there's outer core. You have your abdominals, your obliques, your low back, your internal muscles. 
also your hips. All the muscles that surround your pelvis are essentially core muscles. One more rep, guys, let's switch sides. So keep that in mind when you're going through this, right? Think about what you're working here. It's not just your abs, you're using your body as a unit, right? When you go to pick something up, when you go to play your sport, to hit a tennis ball across the court, you need these muscles to be working very effectively and in unison, and that's what this is all about. We have five seconds left. Three, that's it, squeeze those blades. Two, and one, excellent. Okay, overhead position if you're in mod three with the hands. Ballet squat on the toes, 45 degree bend at the feet. Come right down, two seconds, hold for one. Two seconds on the way up, hold for one, and then repeat up and down. Three, two, one, here we go. We're gonna move a little quicker in the transitions, guys. That's it, nice and controlled. Hold for one at the bottom still, perfect. So we're going a little bit less range of motion with mod one here, but still we're focusing on that balance. When you're on the toes, your body's talking, right? You're moving a little bit, your body wants to get off balance, your brain and your body are communicating with each other to maintain that position. Try to stay as high on the toes as you can, right? Challenge yourself a little more. If you were almost heels on the ground on the first round, I want you to lift the heels up further on this round. You can always get a little bit further with progression. And each set here, that's it. Nice job, exhale up, good. Mod two, hands are out, not quite to 90, but pretty darn close. Mod three, we're going all the way to 90, hands are all the way up, shoulders are back, we're feeling good. Last rep, two and one. All right, let's wave hello here. Into our hello planks, back on the uh, left arm, okay? Get your hips up, arm extended, down to the ear, back to the hip. Contract that lower side, okay? Three seconds, two and one, here we go. Good, so if you're looking at improving on this exercise, if you were finding it easy or not too difficult on mod one or mod two, move up to mod three, okay? Always move up if you can. All right, how are we doing? Hello. Good, excellent, so keep those hips nice and high. So think, go to the opposite side for me, think about drawing that belly button to the spine through the whole thing. That's what I want you to focus on. So contract here and that lower side is keeping you in a nice straight line. All right, so mod two and mod three here. Main difference, the arm isn't going all the way to the head, and then the feet are staggered as opposed to stacked, which is a little bit easier because you're widening the base. Still challenging though, right? Don't be fooled, it's still challenging. Last four seconds, isn't it, Court? <laughs> Three, two, and relax. We're back to uptown crunch here. So, lying on your left side, upper arm on the ground, left fingers pointed towards the ceiling, right hand behind the head. All right, we're gonna hover with those legs, and legs stay still as your upper body comes up Shortening that gap between rib cage and hip. Here we go, three seconds, two, and one. All right, right up and down. So again, on this one, focus on joint alignment. So I wanna see shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle, okay? So Bartek's doing a fine job here, nice straight line. You can feel that contraction each time. Exhaling as you come up, use that breath, right? The diaphragm is also a stability muscle. If you use it properly, you're gonna be much more effective with this. Turn sides for me. So we got Courtney in mod two. Main difference here, the legs are coming up, staying in position, and then just dropping to the ground, right? So not coming too much higher than parallel, but we're getting a short rest at the bottom between each rep, as opposed to mod three where we're hovering the entire time. We have three seconds left. That's it, Candice, last two, and one, nice job. Okay, it's the sneaky bear, we're getting back into that. So on all fours, Lift right arm, left foot, two second hold, back down, left arm, right foot. You don't need to lift too high on this, keep the hips still. Three seconds, two, and let's go, here we go. Good, so how do you do better on this? I want you to focus on still hips. I always use that analogy of a glass of water or whatever's important to you fluid wise, right on your back, you don't wanna lose it, right? Maintain that position, nice and controlled. A full two seconds, 2001, 2002, and then drop down. Good, so main difference here with mod two, we have Courtney just lifting the hands, still focusing on that pelvic stability, right? That's the key here. Draw the belly button tight to the spine. Excellent, very good. Bartek, you doing okay here? I'm doing good. All right, all right, good. So we're just dropping one knee at a time here with Bartek's position in mod one. Still, hips are very still, and that's what we want to maintain. They're just coming up and down, but they're not rocking side to side, right? Three seconds, two, and one. We're back up standing, balancing press. Left leg is what we want to stand on. Arms are up with those weights, and you're pressing straight up, leg goes out to the right, and then swing back to the opposite side, okay? So swing right, swing left. Tap the foot. All right, three seconds, two, and one. I'll let you know when you hit halfway. That's it. Tapping foot, tapping foot, very good. So try to extend that reach, see where you can get. That's it, good, so that's a great crossover 
that Candace is getting there. She's getting all the way to the other side. All right, we got Courtney here with mod two. We're going from midline to right side. Okay, switch sides for me. Excellent, good. And if you imagine, you know, Bartek alluded to 100 pounds he's pressing, but if you imagine you're pressing weight, guess what has to happen here? You're pressing weight up. You have to contract everything to maintain that body's position. So use that as a cue for yourself as well throughout this. We have about three more reps left here, guys. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Okay, the rotating Saxon. So hands are straight up, lean towards your right side. Feel that stretch through your obliques. Come back up and rotate towards that same side and repeat on the opposite side. Three seconds till we go. Two and one. If you're in mod two, you're gonna go 90 degree position with your arms. Same movement though, okay? So feel that stretch as you go over, stretching, contracting, and rotating. Excellent. Good, good, good. We'll keep this going. And mod one, same rotation, same movements, but we got the hands on the hips. Good, so you might not be able to get as far with your rotation, but that's fine. Go to where your body will allow you to go on this, okay? Yeah, stretch, rotate. We have about 15 seconds left, so let's finish this strong. Good, yes, with each one, see if you can get a millimeter further. Let's see that stretch. Very good, very good, nice. We're almost at the blowout, guys, almost there. Let's go one more rep. We got three seconds, two, and one. All right, let's start on your right forearm. Open up to the left. Switch it up. All right, hand is up. Head is neutral. You can look up at your hand or keep your hand neutral as long as your neck's in a straight line. That's my concern. We're gonna hold this for about 15 seconds. Yeah, that's great. Good, yeah, so feel where your hips are in space, right? If you feel your hips are moving backwards a little bit, I want you to go ahead and try to correct that position, right? So think of that nice straight line all the way down. If you're crooked, guess what happens? You start using your back and other muscles that we're not really trying to focus on in that way, okay? So we're using the whole core, we're almost there. Yeah, let's switch sides immediately, right to center and over. Yeah, perfect. Again, so you can go stack feet, widen the base. If it's difficult, you can widen the base. Solid as a rock, did I hear? Solid as a rock. All right, all right, good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> ticklish too, solid as a rock and ticklish. Good, okay, let's go back to the other side again, right from center, all the way back, open up left. Perfect. I didn't know you were that ticklish. Good, keep it going. Nice, great form guys, great form. Straight lines all the way through. We have about 40 seconds left. Good, back to center, right through again, one more time. Excellent, open up to your right. Good, holding, go right back to neutral, open up to your left. We're gonna keep this moving through a couple more times. Yep, back to neutral, right across. Remember, keep those hips high all the way through. One more rotation to the opposite side and then I'm gonna get you to hold your neutral plank facing the ground. Good, we got 15 seconds left here guys, hold it out, hold it out. Yeah, keep that belly button drawn tight to the Woo! spine. Good, good. Keep your breathing going. The core is so much more than just the abs here. We want to focus oh, yeah. on keeping that posture. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Right to the end. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right. Yeah. Awesome. We got a 45 second break. Well done. Grab some water. Feeling good, Bartek? Feeling good. How are you doing? It's a little sweat on your brow there. Sure, there'll be more in a few minutes. <laughs> That run felt good. Excellent. So again, we're not just working the six pack here. We're working your abdominal wall, your obliques, your low back, your hips, right? Glutes, everything that surrounds your pelvic area is going to stabilize you. It's deliberately slower, more progressive, but we're maintaining focus all the way through. We're going to pick it up a little bit, getting into first round of set B. You guys ready for this? Oh, yes. Okay. The hay baler comes first. So a little bit more in shoulder width apart. You're going to come down straight arms. Drop the hands to your right side, come right back out and right across. Right, so if you imagine you got about 10 pounds, maybe 50 pounds for bar tech, throwing that right across. All right, three seconds till we start. Two and one. Form, very important here. You wanna keep that posture tall. Remember, the heavier the weight is that you're tossing, the more you're gonna have to use your stabilizing muscles to keep that posture tall and intact. So our mod one bar tech, we're going about 30 to 45 degrees down. Elbows are bent. When we get to the mod two with Courtney here, Going a little deeper on the squat, we have straight arms. Good, switch directions, guys. Same thing, but switch directions. That's it, so you're loading the legs, you're finishing off with the arms. Mod three, going right down to 90 degrees here. Your arms are an extension of the torso, right? So your torso is doing the twisting, your arms are following, you're initiating the movement with your lower body. No thoracic flexion, but there is trunk rotation, right? So we're not flexing over, but we're rotating. Last two seconds, last rep. And done. Okay, next one, the bushwhacker. 
So imagine you got a sword over your left shoulder. You're gonna step right leg into a lunge, slice across, come right back out, and keep going right leg until we hit halfway, okay? Nice. Three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Fruit Ninja, I call Courtney the Fruit I Ninja. We throw the fruit, she slashes it. Good, 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 that's it, awesome. Good, let's keep going, right across. Nice, use that torso, that's power, right from the midsection. That's where your power is coming from. There we go, the arms are finishing. Good, keep going, one more. All right, switch sides. All right, Bartek, you and I, we're chopping, we're chopping through the woods here, chopping through the bush, clearing that path. Nice, exhale with each turn. Good, notice how those shoulders are still back, even though your arms are coming forward and across, your shoulders stay back, your posture is tall all the way through, focus is there. Very good. All right, mod three. Oh, Candace, how are we doing? It. How are we doing? What are you slicing there I so aggressively? Watermelons. watermelons. Last two seconds. Let's go one more rep. Done. Oh. Excellent. Okay, the pledge push up comes next. We're going to get down in a push up position. All right, two seconds on the way down. One, two, hold for one. Come back up, touch the shoulder, left shoulder with right hand. Down again, come back up, touch the opposite shoulder. Okay, so we're going to go back and forth. Hip stay still. Ready? Set and go. Here we go. Going right away. Controlled exhale. Yeah, don't forget that pause at the bottom. We're going to do one second hold at the bottom. One, two, hold. Up, touch across. Good. Now, if you find that you're moving side to side with the hips, widen the stance just a touch if you're in the mod three position or drop down to mod two like Courtney here. We're on the knees. So we're still getting that depth of the push up, still touching, destabilizing the body when you lift the hand, but the hips are still. That's what we want, right? Engage that core, guys. Focus on this. This is also shoulder stability. All right, mod one, we're in a four point position, right? Which means the hips stay above the knee joint, okay? We're still getting nice and deep. Exhale, still destabilizing as we touch that shoulder, but keeping the hips nice and still. We have about two more reps, guys. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one, nice work. Okay, front side back balance. I'll get you standing. Left leg is planted, knee partially bent, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna force the arms forward as you bring your foot forward. Then to the side as your foot goes to the side. Then backwards, externally rotate those arms as your leg goes backwards, okay? Same side till halfway. I'll let you know when that happens. Three seconds, two, and one. Maintain stillness and control within the core, okay? It's all about control here. Very good, so mod one. We're tapping out each time. So you'll notice the foot taps down with each arm movement but nice and tall. Bartek's very aware of his posture there, his form, his core. Mod two, good. Courtney's extending all the way. Let's switch sides. That's your last rep on that side. Very good. So we're bending those elbows, extending out to the side as you come into it. Very good, very good. A little less stable on this side. <laughs> a little less stable on one side than the other. You might notice that. There's usually a difference between right and left. And it's important to be aware of that and try to balance it out as much as you can. So it might be related to tightness, it might be related to strength. Two, one. Okay, next one, supine Frankenstein. Lie on your back for me. All right, from there, we're gonna hover with the arms, okay? You're gonna bring opposite arm, opposite leg up. So we'll start off with right arm, left leg, back down, left arm, right leg. The whole time, your head and neck is on the ground, okay? Draw your belly button tight to the spine. Keep your sacrum off the floor, okay? Starting in three seconds. Two and one. So we're talking about the tailbone. So you wanna be contracted here. So your tailbone is basically levitating off the floor there. The legs are off the ground, about 20 degrees or so. Again, if it's too low for you and you find your low back starts to arch beyond that natural curve, you don't want that, right? So what you might wanna do is drop down a mod. So mod two, we're not going as low with the feet, and we're actually resting in between reps, right? So we bring it up, we go right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, down and pause. Perfect, great example there, Court. All right, we got Bartek here in mod one. Resting with each rep, okay? But still contracting, he's still really not releasing his abdominal wall tension throughout this entire movement, entire exercise. But he's just relaxing for a split second with the foot on the ground and the arm on the ground. Last two seconds, and one, let's flip over onto your front. We're gonna go into snow angel. So this is a prone snow angel. It means you're lying face down. Head and neck is supported, okay? If you ever make snow angels as a child, it's the same thing, but we're lying face down. Try not to smother yourself. So straight out and back. So you're splitting wide open both legs and arms. Stay nice and high. Use those back extensions to keep yourself elevated. Three seconds. Two and one. Excellent, here we go. Good. Good, keep it going. So a lot of athletes will overdevelop the front of their body, the quads, their chest, you know, their anterior muscles. You wanna hit the back of your body just as much, right? You don't wanna end up with hamstring injuries due to overdeveloped quads 
or shoulder injuries due to overdeveloped chest, right? Rounding forward with the shoulders. We don't want that either. This exercise is a perfect example of what you can implement anywhere in order to get the job done. Excellent. Very good. So we're pausing with each movement here in the mod one position. So this improves your posture by essentially, you're focusing on strengthening the back in between the shoulder blades, right? And your low back extensors, but you're also lengthening through the front. It's important to balance out your body with exercises like these. Last rep, guys. Awesome. All right, the infinity bounce. Let's get you standing on your left leg. Partial bend in the knee, okay? You're holding a medicine ball, right, in your hands. It's got a little bit of weight to it, so you gotta keep your core tight. The opposite leg is up 90 degrees, and you're making an infinity symbol. For those that don't know what that is, it's a sideways eight, okay? Sideways eight. All right, ready? I'll let you know when to switch sides. And here we go, so arms are straight out. Make that sideways eight or infinity symbol all the way through. Your arms are an extension of the torso. Your hands should be following with your sternum the whole time. They don't get away from your chest, okay? Nice job, this is a great example here. Partial bend of the standing leg is gonna maintain better stability like Candace has there, very good. Try not to lean backwards even though that leg's up. Let's switch legs. Excellent, so we're decreasing range of motion a little bit here and the leg isn't lifted as high in the mod two position. Very good, Courtney. Nice, looking focused. And for bar tech, focusing on stability, we just have that toe just kissing the floor, maintaining a little bit more stability here, and we're decreasing the range with the arms. Very good, last couple yeah. seconds, and done. So this may look like it's not a lot of work, but it takes focus, it takes focus right? You're balancing, you're stabilizing, you're using all those muscles. Hey guys, we're gonna bring it up a little bit, we're going into the blowout. We're gonna get a little more cardiovascular with this one. We start off with quick feet, and then we're gonna go to single leg bounds. I'll call it as we go. I'm gonna get you to hold a couple of those as well. After all, we're focusing on balance, right? Okay, let's start off with the quick feet. So nice and quick. We got a minute and a half, guys. We're gonna go with this. That's it. Let's go nice and quick, nice and quick. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. Good. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. Good. Keep going. Keep going. You are fast. You are fast. I'll give you that. All right, in five seconds, we're gonna bound right and we're gonna hold that position, okay? Three, two, and one. Bound, hold. You almost went before my count there. You're eager to get into that one. Good. Holding, holding, holding. Good. Stable, stable, very good. Excellent, good, so arms are out front, right, for the mod two. All right, bound left and hold it. That's it, holding for 10, nine. Good, feel the balance that you have, right, that focus. You're ready to use that recoil energy and fly to the other side. All right, ready, we're gonna go back and forth in three, two, one, let's go right, and left, and right, and left, good, keep it going, and right, and left, and right, and left, keep it going, and right, that's it, Bartek. And left, and right, and left, good focus. Right, left, five more, five, four, three, two, and quick feet, here we go. Quick, 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 let's get them going. Get those feet firing. That's it, buns of steel. Good, and bound left, bound left, bound left. Yes, bound right. Quick feet, right away, right away. Keep going, keep going. Bound right, bound left, bound right. Quick feet, quick feet all the way, five. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, I almost got you on that one. You did. <laughs> nice job, Bartek. Excellent job. Grab a quick, quick sip of water. Nice work. Nice work. All right. My butt hurts after You brought the heart rate up a little bit there. Holy. I had to think about which way was my right. All right, so remember, exercise is experience, right? The more you do, the better you get at it. Like, repetition is powerful, right? That's why doing these exercises one more time, second round, you get a little bit better. Right? Do the primal challenge as well to see for yourself. The more you participate and evolve, the more you'll evolve. Right? So we want to keep that going. All right, we got about 10 seconds left, and we're going to get into the second round of set B. You guys ready? Yes, do it. Are you sure? Yeah, okay, go. just want to be sure. Just want to be sure. All right, so again, hay baler starts first. We're down. Straight across as you come up. One in three seconds. We're going right away here. Two and one. Here we go. So transitions between exercises are going to be a little bit quicker, guys. It's a little more familiar now. That's it, good. So again, I want you to imagine that weight you're throwing. This is heavy, you're, this is about 50 pounds here. About 50 pounds, there we go. That helps you focus on engaging that core. You know what you need to do. When you got heavy weight in your arms, you don't want it pulling you forward. Let's switch directions. Increase my weight. Bit. Nice, you just increased your weight on the second round? Good, that's, that's what you call stepping it up a notch. Excellent. Nice work, Courtney, keep it going. You judge your depth based on your mod here, okay? We got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, good, exhale every time. Seven, six, five, that's it, throwing right up here. Four, very good, three, 
two, and last one. Done, good. Got a little extra rep in there for you. Okay, take that sword over your left shoulder. Step forward, right leg, right across, and come right back up. Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. Nice work. That's it, cutting straight across. This is a thick tree here. It's gonna take a lot of power. Nice, you got the power though. It all comes from that core. Very good, guys. Remember, that stepping leg, you wanna push through the heel and midfoot, right? You always wanna keep that focus in addition to what you're using for the core here. Good, right across. We got one more rep. Switch sides. Nice job, nice job. Good, what are we chopping now? Mm, smaller fruit, like peaches. Peaches, apples. so your accuracy is better. So you're improving on accuracy on the second round, good. Bartek, what are you stepping up on in this second round? Nice big oak tree. <laughs> oak tree. I got a battle axe. All right, battle axe on the oak tree. Whatever it takes. Keep that core nice and tight. Those oak trees are tough. Two seconds and one. Good, down to push-ups. All right, push-up position again. One, two, hold, exhale, boom. One, two, hold, exhale, and touch. Side to side, three, two, one. Here we go. Very good, very good. Heart rate's getting up in this round. Oh, yeah. Heart rate's getting up, absolutely. Excellent form there, excellent form. Good, so we're not trying to replace the things you do outside in terms of your other activities, right? This is made to make things better, make you actually operate better, whether you like biking or running or whatever it is that you do, this is supposed to add to it, make you more optimal and get, get better at it, right? I feel stronger. You feel stronger? Yeah. yeah. Stabilizers are working here. Core is working, shoulder stabilizers. We're focusing on balance. That's gonna translate to everything else that you do. Okay, keep it nice and tight. We got about five seconds left here. Like the depth of those push-ups, those are great. Back down, last three, last two, and done. Nice, excellent. Okay, front side, back, balance. You're gonna stand on your left foot to start. We're gonna go hands forward, leg goes forward. Hands go to the side, leg goes to the side, and then of course, backwards, externally rotate. All right, ready? I'll let you know when to switch sides. All right, three, two, and one. All right, Candice, let's see your range here. Gotta work harder to balance. Very good, very good, very good. That's amazing. So look at the height here. So you're getting 90 degrees, 90 degrees. You obviously have great flexibility as well. Oh I'm actually gonna get you to close your eyes. Close oh, your eyes really? and see what you can do now. Tell me what you're experiencing now. You can notice right yeah, away, right? Good, switch sides for me and try it with your eyes closed again, right from the start. When you close your eyes, all of a sudden, you don't have the same balance anymore, right? So using your eyes actually helps you with your balance. The moment you close them, you shut off that aspect of your sensory. And this is a way of actually increasing, if you're at mod three and you want to increase the difficulty, great way to do it. You can see right here, Candace is wobbling around a lot more, right? Yes. But she's determined. That's what I like about you. All right, great job. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Let's lie onto your back. So we got the supine Frankensteins again. Arms are back, legs are forward. Again, we're hovering with the limbs. Draw the belly button tight to the spine and we're going right arm, left leg, back down, left arm, right leg, back down. Here we go. Three, two, one, showtime. That's it. So remember, head and neck stays down, just as the previous set. Perfect. Good, core is tight all the way through. So I'm basically feeling he's not relaxing in between reps, which is exactly what we want. Very good. That's it, Bartek. So, uh, you still ticklish? <laughs> uh, I didn't even touch him, I didn't even touch you. <laughs> okay, keep your head down, keep your head down. There we go, there we go. He just has to get it into his head and then all of a sudden, he starts laughing. Good, keep it going. Actually, I'm not gonna tickle you, don't worry. Good, you're good, you're good. I know you're into self-defense and everything, I don't wanna tickle you, get punched in the head. <laughs> good, keep that core nice and tight. Exhale as you come through, we got three seconds. Two, one more rep, and done, excellent. Okay, prone snow angel, lie on face down for me. Going back into those snow angels, lift right up nice and high, and we're straight out, and back to the midline of the body, nice and steady. All right, starting in three seconds. Two, and one, here we go. Back and forth. Good, good, so mod three, we got a lot of height here. We're hovering the whole time, head is neutral. You feel all those posterior muscles firing. It's exactly what we want. Very good. So if you're at a desk a lot with your job, this is an excellent exercise to help bring those shoulders back, bring your posture more erect, right? Because we all get into that forward, rolling shoulder position. Day-to-day -day activities, awesome. Very good. Starting to feel the burn. Oh yeah. Good, and this is good for anybody. It doesn't matter what your job is. Any repetitive motion that you do in a forward position, this will help counteract that, right? You'll lower your risk of injury, increase your performance. Last second, let's do one more rep. And 
done, nice. Excellent, okay, standing up, we're gonna go the infinity balance again. So stand on your left leg, knee partially bent. Hold that medicine ball, bring your right knee all the way up, parallel to the waist, and we're going around. All right, again, follow with the chest. Three seconds, two, and one, here we go. Excellent, so mod one, we're just barely touching the ground with that toe just to help a little bit with stability. If you can take it off occasionally, play around with it, right? This round, I want you to go one step further in terms of challenging yourself. Whatever that is for you, Good. shoulders back. Yeah, that's it. Draw that belly button nice and tight. Good, switch legs. Good, good, good. Balancing's getting harder. Yeah. Very good. All right, guys, what's up next after this? Have we been paying attention? Oh, we got the blowout next. We got, nice. Are you sure? Are you sure we got the blowout? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you I'm sound excited, excited about it. that. No slacking. Good, good, good. You. I'm watching. Good, close your eyes with this one. Close your eyes. Okay. Last five seconds. Don't go as fast. I got it. Four. I got it. I know you do. Three, two, and one. Nice job. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, it's the blowout. We're going to start off with the bounding side to side. Right first, left next. Let's go right away. So, right. Yeah, left. Right, left, excellent, excellent, good. So we all know what's coming. We got the bounding, we got the quick feet. I'm not gonna tell you what's coming up next. I'm just gonna tell you when it's there. All right, so we'll keep this going. So if you're in mod one and you can go a little bit wider, I want you to go a little bit wider with your jump, okay? If you can move all the way up to mod two, then move all the way up to mod two. Like cord here, nice, nice. But don't fold in when you land. All right, we got a couple more, keep going. If you're in mod three, I want you to extend even further this time. That's it, like Candace is doing, really pushing it. Good, quick feet, right away, quick feet. That's it. Come good, on, good, good, good. That's it, that's it, that's it. Keep going. going. Good, nice job, nice job. Keep going. Good, back to bounding, same thing, side to side. Side to side, again, catching your body from falling. Listen, your body wants to go that direction when you jump that direction. What happens is you're absorbing that landing, you're preventing your body from going there. That takes a lot of energy, right? A lot of strength. You're slowing down that momentum. There's a lot of muscles working at the same time to make that action happen. Good job. Good, keep it going. And quick feet, go, 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 go. Nice and quick. That's you and me. Catch it up. That's it. Oh. Catch it up, Candice. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Woo. Good, keep your posture though. Keep your posture, keep your focus. We're almost there. It's your last blow out here. I'm just saying, I'm just good. saying, I'm just saying. Good, 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 keep going, keep going. Just like football practice. Come on. Football good, and bounding, bound right, bound right. Bound left, bound right. Bound left, keep going. Bound right, bound left. Good, arms straight ahead now. Bound right, there we go. Bound left, we got five seconds. Four, almost there, almost there. Three, two, and done. Nice. Nice job, nice job. Congratulations, that's the standard program of Core One. Oh my God. You just got through it. All right, grab some water. We're gonna cool down a little bit. Ooh. Nice work. Woo, yeah. Good job. Those bounds, my butt, I'm telling you. You get a little further booty. and further with those bounds. Okay, so let's start off with a shoulder stretch first, okay? You're gonna start off. Just bringing your left arm across the right, right, right across the chest. Pull with your right arm against the chest. Exhale, we're gonna hold for 10 seconds here, okay? Excellent. Oh. <laughs> I like this part. So again, we work the shoulders a little bit too from stabilizing uh, in today's workout. So it's good to stretch those out as well. Gonna switch sides, same thing. Right arm across the chest, use your left arm, pull it into the chest. And again, force your chest forward, right? Nice and tall with your posture. And I know it can be challenging finding time sometimes to work out. I know sometimes I go into the gym, I realize I only have about 20 minutes. But you know what the fact is, you keep moving, that's the most important thing, right? Evolve programs are designed to give you that opportunity. We got the express, standard, and extended programs to fit your time needs, right? Yeah. We're all pressed for time these days, but sometimes you have more time, so you wanna make use of that. Okay, from there, just light swings backwards. So you're gonna go backwards, stretch, hold for two, and then forwards. Hold for two, and then forward. So you're actually really forcing your chest forward, squeezing your shoulder blades together, just stretching out the front of the body and engaging those shoulder blades in between the shoulder blades. Good, last three, last two, and last one, good. Okay, step back with your right leg. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one hand on either side of your foot, back your body weight up slowly, right? Don't force this, bring your toe up to the shin. You don't need to lock your knee out if you can, great, but you don't have to, okay? I want you to go to where you feel about a six out of 10 in terms of the stretch. Nice, long, deep breaths. Good, you might find you can get a little bit straighter as you continue to hold. We'll go 10 more seconds of holding there. Feeling that bar tech? Yeah. Tight back here, right? All in the hamstring. Yeah. Good, okay, so let's step forward, go into the other side now, same thing. So stepping back. 
Yeah, bringing that toe gradually up to the shin. Perfect. You can let your back knee bend up a little bit in order to allow you to get into that position. Good, last three seconds. Two and one, good. Okay, come up from that position. Feet a little wider in shoulder width, okay? All you're gonna do is you're gonna go in circles here. So put your hands on your hips for me. Go to the side and right around. So we're gonna do three circles in one direction, three circles in the opposite direction, okay? So that was one, that's two. And you don't need to lean backwards, it's just sideways and forwards, let gravity take you. Nothing too aggressive. Good, and opposite direction. Let's finish it up for three more. Perfect, last two. And last one. And up, excellent. Well done, guys. Come on in, you just completed the standard version of core one. How do you feel? Pretty good? All right, so we're all familiar a little bit with our muscular imbalances now. We're still working on things, always getting better. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brent, and this is Evolve.